Bob. Join the other Bobs and become a supporter today to get access to the jungle tier list, 10% off all coaching sessions, Discord Q&A channels specifically for the supporters where you can have questions answered. What should I build on this champion? What's the jungle path? You, I'll actually reply to them. Big. And then we got the OP.GG review. So you can see what you're doing wrong there. A lot of great stuff. All for $3 a month. Oh, hot dog. What a deal. And you get to talk to all the other Bobs that will be populated this bad boy. All righty. Thank you very much. Link in the description. Yep. Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We're going to be playing Viego versus Vi. I'll be starting the Raptors so I can farm max and just kind of overtake. Overtake the Vi. If Vi spends time attacking and we spend time farming, we can become super farm sewer. Super, super early. For the runes, we have Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coop, Magical Footwear, Cosmic, and then the attack speed, AD, and scaling, HP. For Viego, he's fine. He, he's not like super strong or super weak in the early game. But the thing is, you have to spend both parts, the damage and your tankiness. You have to get hit, and you don't have, like, overt amount of damage. But whenever you farm quite a bit, then you power both of those up, and you eventually get to this point where you can take more damage and deal more damage than the enemy can. Once you get that farm lead and ramp past the enemy. And the way you do that is by clearing most of the jungle camps. And you won't have to do this every time. I would imagine lower elos, too, that Diego would be better suited ganking quite a bit, so there'll be opportunities for you. But if we start the camp like this and stay solid on them, not wasting any time unless something happens for us, then we're in business. So we're clearing our camps waiting to receive, <laughs> nice word, receive the play, rather than going and looking for it, for most players running into trouble. We get that level three, get the red buff, doing the Raptor Krug into the red so that they respawn sooner, and they are fighting bot side, so I'll put a point in my E, which is slower than putting two points in Q, but that's fine. This Viego, your passive is nothing. The real passive is built into Q. Your auto attacks deal current HP, physical damage on hit, so it's basically like you have Bork from the beginning. And then the Q active, you stab him. Yep, you stab him and then you slice him. When you hit a enemy with a ability, the Q or the W, then you mark them and get that double hit. That double hit heals you and deals more damage to the enemy. Pretty simple. I think with Viego, you just have to get really used to walking up and hitting them to begin. Um, most people with the W itself get confused. So the W, you charge and then stun the enemy. When people go for ganks, all the low elo players I coach, they always use that W first. You smite. Well, there goes my bot lane. They are already dead, but Vi is level 3, so the Scuttle Crab is pretty much mine. Vi, I love you. Well, she must have Smite, so I'll just fight her. W, Schmack, Schmack, Q, Schmack, 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 Health Potion. We do have our W coming up, so I think I can follow here. We just have to flash Alistar's combo. Flash, Q, bop, bop. Nice, now we pick up Vi, Q, Auto, E, moving, Auto, E, Auto. Oh, so close. <clears throat> Alrighty, worth a shot. We gotta mute these pings. If you guys are danger pinging that, like, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have anxiety in real life? Like, shut up. I'm killing him. <laughs> guys, I'm literally killing him. Have you ever killed a champion? Of course not. Yes, have you ever been to the High Temple? Mm, what am I saying? Of course you haven't. So that's 28 CS and a kill. A very good start to the game, and that's gonna add to our ramp here. We'll go back to our Raptors since they're up. If the camps are up, go do them, Bob. Don't have to reset. No problem. Why? what are we doing here? you gank in my mid lane? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. He's good at dying, so... JK! JK, Vi, your life's kind of over. Your, gank, your funny gank didn't work out. I'm going to hit level 5. So yes, Viego, you're very good at continuing with things. So since the Vi showed bot side, I start the scuttle. If she fights me in the river, it is so much easier than doing a gank. And since we path bot side, we give ourselves a lot of opportunities for plays like that. Scuttle crab fight, mid lane, dragon, bot lane fight. A lot more opportunity than walking top into an Aatrox. We're going to reset here, get that pickaxe, recurve bow, and to the bot side. Nice, we get them both. That's going to greatly increase our clear speed. And remember, we have that level lead. We have the level 5. And I want to just continue to do the same path, farm my jungle camps, and then go to the river. 
From the river we have options, and we just have to choose the right one. Pickaxe giving us 25 AD, Recure Bow giving us 15% attack speed, and that... How much? 15 physical damage on hit. Let's clear these camps. Don't skip them. Don't get crazy. Vice shows there. Hot dog. So they might try to dive the Yone here, so I'll just help them out. Nice, W. Q. Pop, pop. 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 And that's about all she wrote here. Soften up the way for Mr. Yone. I bet I can get Vi's red side. They are out of their mind trying to do that dive. So because Vi showed, she wants to gank. She's not going to just not do an attack right there. The Yone's under turret, half HP. Diana has ulti. They're going to attack. So all we had to do is show up for it. You know, that's what they don't tell you about Viego. Sometimes you just have to show up to work. It's a good job. Sometimes you have to work hard, but sometimes you just show up and don't really have to do anything. Alrighty, Vi finding no raptors and walking to the top side. She's gonna go for those void grubs. I'll finish the dragon and just walk through mid. We have level six now, which gives us our ulti. The ulti allows us to dash towards the target, has that big circle AoE that damages everyone and deals missing HP damage. So you wanna use that when they're low. You can also use it as a dash to stay on top of them. Listen, Bob, Vi's already done with those void grubs in a sense, so let's just, let's just farm everything. Stay, stick to the plan, really. Farm everything. We take that scuttle crab, and now guess what the next camps are? Her red side camps. Hot dog. Drake, where's the red buff? Well, we got some Krug, at least. 48 seconds on the red buff. What? Just smite this. I got places to be. Q. The Bork is 1600 away. So now would be my time to cross through mid, get to my red side camps. Also, gank the Diana. E, moving. Schmack, Q. Schmack, schmack, W. Schmack, schmack. Schmack. Noob down. Pike gets the kill, but it's okay. We get some gold. And we're level 7. Hot dog. <laughs> Hot dog. Whenever you participate in the fights after the farm man and do objectives, it's just a recipe to get a shit ton of XP. I'll clean up my one Void Grub here. And then kind of just full clear down. Although, we're going to complete that Bork somewhere along the clear here. We want to get every single camp. Why? Nothing special has to happen on this turn. We already have our lead. The enemy is doomed, Bob. The enemy is doomed. I don't have to do anything to push my lead. I already have it. Well, I do have to do something. I have to farm my camps. But I thought... But I thought... I, I watched the other jungle YouTuber that plays in du plays in Iron, and uh, he just gets 18 kills. So so I thought that that's how you play VA. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, dodges the Q. Oh, he's definitely going to ulti. There it is. Oh, Pike with the stun. Vi is so screwed. Her ulti being down just means she has, like, no gameplay for the next two minutes. Meanwhile, we're farming. I'm naturally winning. The enemy has to do something. What does she try to do? Kill the Draven. Did she kill him? Hell no. They're trying to take this turret and do so, but Diana's coming, so now would be the time to move. We just so obviously see her coming. E, auto, Q. There's that flash in. W, smite, pop, pop, Q, pop, pop, pop. I think I win. Auto, auto, Q, ulti. Nice. Q, E, W, smack, ulti. Smack, Q, smack, W, smack. Senna has a phage. Huh. Oh, let's just reset. To walk all the way to Gromp is a bit slow. Job's done. Full clear. You know, just walk into kills. Will it happen every day of your life? No. But when it does, don't look to get other things. Um, let's go Ninja Tabby and then into the top side here. Bork gives us AD attack speed lifesteal. The most important part is missed edge. 10% enemy current HP physical damage. So it's basically like our Q passive, dealing 5%. And now we deal 15%, so we want to... Smack them a whole lot whenever we get on top of them. And then every 
three autos. Or once you auto attack them three times, then you slow the enemy as well. So that'll help us stay on top of the enemy. As well as dealing really good damage. You might get chunked at the start of a fight, but you probably won't die. Yeah, this is an easy fight right here. Just one reset. W. Might. Mind if I do. Q. Auto. W. E. Okay, I don't really play Aatrox, I'll be honest. Whoosh. The easiest game ever, question mark. Q. We can take three turret plates here. Wait, we have one Void Grub. Man, screw that. We got places to be. Turret plate gold, jungle camp, gold and XP. So that fight starts, all we have to do is show up once again, but once I'm in there, I want to kill the lowest target. Just give me the first reset. I don't have to kill anyone important. If I get a reset, I probably kill everybody. With the reset, you pick up their body. You get a cast three free abilities, as well as you get a cast of your ulti. So you get four extra abilities to cast before you even use your main ones. Like, obviously getting the reset's good, but when you can do it like that, makes it like almost impossible for the enemy to win the fight. Well, the enemy's kind of screwed. I'll just take the Void Grubs. To push the pace of the game, we can start taking these objectives and then going back to farm. So we did our farm ramp and it all just happened like so quickly. So now we can earn those objectives super easily. Bye. What's the deal? She doesn't even know I'm on these. Oh, I see. She's looking for a gank onto Young. So we're not going to use our E on the wall. That would tell the enemy that we're here. Instead, we'll be a sneaky guy. Use it since the fight started here. And then follow the play. They're going to go back to Young. W. Onto Aatrox. He is fine. Auto Q. Schmack, schmack. Ulti. Oh! Don't get hit by the third one here. Yon, you're my only hope. W. Schmack, schmack. Q. Schmack, schmack. Hey, yay, yay. Well, no, show me to leave with W. I was trying to peel for the Yon there, but Yon doesn't deal any damage. L. Is fine. Is fine. So from here, we probably should just go with Trinity. Trinity is going to be one of our strongest second items because we're snowballing so hard. Even though we lost that fight, my team's still going to continue to win. I should have played for Dragon instead of <laughs> instead of this shit. Oh well. And then Trinity just simply gives you a lot of stats that are good. AD, attack speed, and HP. Alrighty, let's clear up towards that Rift Herald and call it a day. That Rift Herald, that would give us that extra pushing power. Another option would be, yeah, attacking them in their jungle. Me personally, I'd rather play for that objective. So even though the Rift Herald's up right now, let's do the two camps. It's fun. Alrighty, Aatrox, it's time to pay for what you did, okay? Rumble actually deals damage. Auto. Q. Run! Q. Schmack, schmack. Schmack. Well, oh, that will show me. Oh, you have an Alistar and a Diana just watching your back. I see. Didn't know. Didn't know it was like that. Weird. Come on, guys, you're delaying the inevitable, be honest. So now I think just reset to the Rift Herald. If they're on this, then that's a good fight. And then if they're not, we can just take it. Oh, they get the Rift Herald. They're not going to be able to use it. It's fine. Noob down. <laughs> 
Hey, that's their strongest member right there that just died. Heal Diana, Yon. Heal her. W. Smack, smack, Q. Smack, 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 smack. Q ulti. I'm rooted, Bob. Well, she's dead. There we go. Once again, strongest member just dead. Got any camps for me? Since we're up the map, let's take the Vi's red side camps. The way that we're going to close this out is basically going to be through the team fights, honestly. The objectives, like, they'll come after we win these fights. We're just so far ahead that those minor missteps don't really matter. Those minor missteps and losing games will lose you the game, and even games will put you in a worse spot, but... In a winning game, doesn't really matter. Diana has Shadow Flame and Lich Bane, so she's like the only champion on their team. If Draven's gonna be up the map, let's just stay with him for a while, so the same way that we skip the camps for the objectives, we can do it since Draven's pushing. If I can ulti him, and we don't have a lot of allies around, so it's pretty likely that they would try for an attack. The enemy team's desperate. And if we're here, we can be involved. If we are on our camps, we'll be too slow to the play. But no Diana. Very dangerous in that jungle right there. Guys, right here. Okay, the blue trinket. This shit is so worded too. And they're all mid lane. Enemy team, do you want to do anything? Yeah, I'm wasting my time, but if something happens, listen, we could win it big. It is staggeringly impressive that nothing's happening. So when I attack here, the entire enemy team's there. But when my Draven's pushing, no one's ulting him. A Vi, Aatrox, and a Diana aren't just ulting on top of this guy. It doesn't make sense. Smack, smack, Q. Smack, smack. I'm just insta-dead. The, the Diana came out of the Senna E. Oh, we started something. I'm going to have to flash away from Diana. That's what I was trying to do, but I had already taken her damage, man. Whoops. You. Yeah, good lineup. Alrighty, it's a two for three so far. Two for two? Still worth. I right, don't complete Trinity, that's weird. Alrighty, to the dragon. Started off with a kiss. This will show me to ever stop farming, eh? Because I'd have the Trinity completed. I'd be so much stronger if I never did the top play. I'm strong and I can fight. The two times that I went for the play, it sucked. The entire early game where I receive it, very nice. Let it be a lesson. Even when, like, turbo winning like this. Going and getting it, no thanks. Reacting and receiving it, yes sir. Baron's coming up, so I'll be clearing towards it. Even though we have Trinity completed, you don't want to reset in spot like spots like this. Stay on the map, keep farming. Diana with the bodyguards, eh? I won't be messing with that. Listen, three of them, one of me. No big deal. It's only a big deal if you make it a big deal. Okay, it might be fine here. Ulti? Yeah, I get Diana, we're in business. 
Guys, you want to kill the Vi here. Yeah, she stops. You? E, W, Schmack. E, auto, ulti. Yeah, move normally, man. W, Schmack, Schmack, Q. Schmack, Schmack, Schmack. No reason to kill Senna. She's not a champion. Black Cleaver, Vandal Glass Mirror. Just like that, we get the Baron and win the game, finally. So the enemy's mistake, the same one that I made twice, is that they tried to attack something. Ridiculous. Gonna be me. Ready, boys, with this Baron, we're in business. Let's reset, spend our gold. Just get some magic resist. It's all about the Diana's damage, so check it out. Actually, Sterax. Yeah, Sterax is the best of both worlds. So where we're winning so hard in the early game, Trinity gives us HP, AD attack speed, ability haste. He gives us all these stats. Tunneler and Ruby Crystal mostly give us HP. The HP is going to give you tankiness against both physical and true damage. Since the enemy is kind of mixed, has a lot of magic damage on that Diana. A lot of HP will work out. It falls off late game, but that's fine. Auto Q, auto auto W, smack smack, smack, smack Q. Rough these guys up while I can. Auto, yeah, auto E, Q, auto. Ulti. Auto W, smack smack, smack. Let's go, Alistar. Support Draven right here. W, Q, E, LT. Smack, smack, Q, smack, smack, W, smack, smite. Run. Ay, ay, ay. I have been flashed on, everyone. Draven has E, he can win. Crap, Ola. Yon has the right idea to ulti like that to block the Diana. Although it looks goofy. Ay, ay, ay. The big wheel keeps on turning. But your honor, I killed everyone on the enemy team. Not the Diana. The only important champion. You're right. Your team You're right. This game keeps going. You're right. You. www. Dot. The kid from Brook. He missed. Well, at least we got the Zonias. That's not bad. Let's reset farm some shit, but that Zonia's cooldown is two minutes, so it's 25-10. Diana Zonias. Care, guys. And she also flashed on me, so 27-20. Diana. Alrighty. Yep, we're pro-gaming this shit. Diana's a real champion, and that's all that matters, apparently. So now with the Baron buff mostly expended, I'll just wait for this dragon to spawn, farming some camps in the meantime. And then we'll just look to siege that bot in hip. Since there's no turret, it's going to be very easy. Yeah, guys. Diana, no flash, no zonias. Yeah, guys. How beast would it be if I could get Zonias? What a counter to Diana, eh? Diana's topside. And she has no flash and no Zonias. Write that down. Push bot. Push bot. So that gives us air soul, more movement speed, and then even more when we use our ulti. Alistar, this doesn't work, and you know it, man. WQ. And then I'm just going to have to smite you, buddy. I'm going to have to really charge up that W. JK. Guys, Young's fighting Diana. She has no flash and no Zonias. Does anyone know this? Because I do. What are you doing? Are we in a real game right now? Your Honor, why is Pike doing jungle camps? dead bob they're instantly dead and the big wheel keeps on turning never take things for granted you know that's what i'm learning here two little funny mistakes with an instant winning team in the mid game and then the game lasts forever am i gonna win yes this is it gonna take me a while yep 
the farming going, Pike? Make sure I secure the camp here. I didn't. Need 100 for Sterax. The Baron's coming up. That's going to be our next objective. Well, the next, the only thing to play for. The Baron will help us push. And uh, no matter how noobly the team is, we're in business. We got a mid turret at the end of the day. Sterex in a control ward. The Sterex giving us 400 HP plus a 600 HP shield. The Nasty in 52 AD. Basically what it does is allows us to tank the entire enemy team as we dogpile on top of each other. And if I survive even just a little bit, even if just by a little bit, then I can get a reset. If I get a reset, I win the game. Alistar also split pushing. Is this a fucking regular game? Are these normal guys right here? Because it's seeming super weird to me. I am in position. W, E. Auto, auto, Q. Smack, smack. Oh my god, bad ulti. Q, smack, smack, W. Okay, I'm in business. Q, E, W, smack, ulti. Well, we ate the buy ulti, so that's good. Raven doesn't have flash, so he can't follow, but they're still winning this play for now. Two control wards. And we got some inhibs. You know it's progress. Hell yeah. I've never, th never ever take things for granted because you might end up with a split pushing pike support with wits in and a 2 and 8 and a 3 and 4, you know, soul lanes. You just can never take anything for granted. You just got to keep doing you and getting yourself strong, you know? You know, you're born into a shitty family. You can still get a job, you know? You can still get a job and then make your own money and then kind of go from there. You know, you don't want to work at Walmart, but you also don't want to live with that family, you know? Let's get in the river. Diana doesn't have Zonius. He's so dead right here. W, pop up. Q, pop up. Ulti. Close. If I hit the ulti. Oh. She almost died to the burn. She dashes behind me with her second E, so that's why I missed the ulti. And I technically won the Baron. Yes, I'd like to order one Null Magic Mantle. Look at our armor, 140. Magic resist, 65. Super low. It goes up to 86. We can make that even better as we go here. But the main deal is like, please give me that magic resist. This late into the game. Diana's their only champion. Thank you very much. Good luck, guys. Good luck with this push. Time to get out of there. Since it's only Draven that can hit the turret and they have so much dive, it's better if we would just push the mid or bot lane, I think. That turret's pretty low, though. Alistar also split pushing. It's like monkey see, monkey do. I've ended up like in an episode of the Truman Show. What is going on? What is real? What is fake? I can't tell. JK, my eyes are wide open. What's real? Don't ever stop farming. That's what's real. Just go kill Alistar. Q. Smack, smack. Smack, smack. Alrighty. Picked up Alistar. Let's make it count here. E. Ulti. I got a useless champ right here. W. Q. Smack, smack. Now, could have this could this have happened? Um, I don't know. About 80 years ago, yeah, it could have. But better late than never. That's what they say. That's what they say. GG. Final score: eight, six, and ten. Bork dealing 3,000 and Trinity dealing 900 with Sterex blocking 600. GG. It's over. We can all go home. Yep. Yeah, they said we could go home when we finish the job. Yep. 
Alrighty, that'll put us at Masters. 140 LP, final damage dealt. 26,000. Surprisingly high. I feel like I didn't participate in that many fights, but apparently we did. And then damage taken, 38,000. Learn it. Leave it. Christ, let that be a lesson, Bob, to never stop farming. When I went top lane and died, I harped on the entire game because that, that was the entire game. It just wastes too much time. Off a little nothing bird. Oh, this should be a free kill. Oh, it's not? Oh, my God. So, yeah. <laughs> we got the job done, though. Let's go. And we never have to play with those guys ever again. Let's go. I was starting to wonder, did I queue up for a normal game or something? But no. No, master tier right there. Low master. Alrighty, Bob. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Click that join button to support the channel and get access to videos sooner. And click the link below to become a Bob today. We have quite a bit of Bobs now. Here, let me show you a little something. Alrighty. So, if you become a Bob... Boom. You get access to the Bob Discord server where we have Bob General and Bob AMA. The Bobs are pretty active talking about stuff here. And you can ask specific game questions and stuff like that in here. Overall, it's been pretty active lately. So now's the time to get in there. Alrighty. See you in the next game. Peace. Alrighty, welcome to game two. Can we playing into Ringar? Pretty uh does he kill me? Depends. Do I kill him? Depends. Who gets the juice first? We'll be clearing towards bot side once again here, but starting red buff this time. I want to fight for a long time rather than just farm, 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 since I have lanes that fight quite a bit. Echo and Akshan. Pike and these guys, they're already fighting, Bob. They're already fighting. Because whenever you do the full clear, right, your camps don't respawn as fast, so you have more time to do plays on the other side of the map without the enemy jungler being able to take those camps, or you having kind of the responsibility to clear them. Schmack, schmack, and then check it out, you pull them. Q. Results may vary. And I even killed a little one for once. Exact same runes. Mr. Akshon, if you don't ward, you're kind of out of your mind, I'll be honest. W. Flash. Noob down. Oh! Oh, I don't know how to play Akshon. We know this. Old season players be like, well, it, he is a new champ. Back to my Raptors. Now that's going to slow me down a little bit on the full clear. For a kill, I'll take it. Ringar wants to get crazy and try to invade me. Now would be his time, so... What we'll do... Is kind of move through into the bush like this. Because this is where he would be. And if he's not here, we're kind of good to go. Put the two points in the queue, and then we'll finish our clear. No matter what, I'm getting level 4 off these camps before I do another play. Where we already got the kill, like that is... That's that. That's our time. And until the scuttle crap was, would die, like, it, the other plays don't really matter. Cost, cost way too much time. Like, super lucky, too. Just like last game. Like, is it really this easy just to walk into kills as Viego? Pull the blue buff up a little bit. And it looks like Ringar's not in the river yet, which is good. But also not in the top river, so that doesn't tell us a whole lot. He could be either side. If I know Ringar, he has to start red buff, so I'd be super surprised if he's bot side. With that in mind, we have a lot of time to do a play down here. So as I move into the river, we can easily look for a gank on the bot lane. The play's already started, so we'll just run right at them. And Ezreal doesn't want to random die. So I'll push with my bot lane, help them crash the way faster, so that things are better for them. Queuing and then autoing each of those caster minions, and we'll back off. Try to kill the Ezreal, Bob. Grow up. Ringar has a long sword. This guy needs to grow up. What is that? In what dimension are you just going to reset and then fight with a single long sword as Ringar? It doesn't make sense. Phew. Back to base for me. He does it again. He walks into his free kills. Kraken Borg? I'm honestly thinking Kraken in this game for once. But I'm also thinking Trinity, because they'll just kind of deal a lot of damage to me. But if I know anything about anything, I'm going to wish that I had Kraken Slayer. Trinity Force is good and all until your team sucks. More of a higher elo thing. Whereas in every day of your life, you should try to 
just get as much farm and as many kills and do things as fast as possible with that Kraken Slayer. Although it's more offensive. Recurve bow, two longswords and pathing towards the bot side here. Rengar's going to be pathing up towards top once again. That makes it very simple for me. I just won't have to interact with them. It gives me free reign of ganking both mid lane and bot lane. These many minions is not worth skipping. Skipping my camp for a couple caster minions. No thanks. So on this turn, we already have that level 5, but we want to keep that farm going, as you know. And that dragon's on the board as well. Diego does the dragon super easily. Step 1, clear all these camps. Listen, to the one guy in the comments where it's like, you should actually smite at the end of the camp. I know, I know. Current HP damage on the Q, I know. I see Echo moving, and that basically means that these guys are going to get dove on the bot side. But I want to be there. Well, Echo kind of left. Rengar on the top side, same deal though. I can just try for the dive. Yeah, we don't know where Akshan is, so we only have so much time here. The hook is going to go wide, so that's the play. It's over. Let's go to the dragon. If Akshan doesn't random show up here. You? Don't get hit. Schmack. 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 You. Guys. Guys. Fucking L. Guys. So when Echo moves, he should just dive bot lane. The wave is crashing. And then because he's left, Action crashed wave and then he roams. What to do? What to do? Welp. And then just even being near the play, I just die. <laughs> like, Akshan just auto, auto, auto. Yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead. You're right. Back to the top side, man. Rinse and repeat. It went wrong once. Do it again. Do it again. Hit the Hearthbound Axe so that will increase our clear speed a little bit. That just sucks to give Ringar like, free reign and then some time. Teammate issue, though. Whatever. Let's gank top and then we'll clear our camps down. We have our ulti now. Ulti and a red buff, and have spent our gold. It's time to kill some noob. I'm gonna save our W for fiddlesticks. Auto, Q. Schmack, schmack. W, schmack, schmack. Schmack, Q. Ding, 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 ding. Listen, you can tell us your lane's moving all you want. If you don't move with him, we got a problem. Run! So now we just clear our camps down. We do not really care about those Void Grubs. It's gonna be 1100 to the Kraken Slayer, so we're playing for that. We're playing for level 7. And then... Any sort of play, and if we win that play, then we get the objective. In that order, Bob. Don't skip it. Luckily, Kraken Slayer and level 7 just kind of happened together by farming the camps. Nice. There's no way Ezreal hits that turret, right? Dude, one tip I can give too is whenever that play is happening, right? What I notice when I'm coaching lower elo players is that they will move towards the play. The best thing you can do is auto attack the camp and then move your camera to the play. Low elo players do something in between, which is so crazy. <laughs> like moving their champion so that they can see the play and it's like, well, huh? Because then they're neither farming nor in the play. They're a monkey in the middle. Like I get it when I was a noob, that's kind of what I did, but... And hook. Smite. Q. Auto, auto, W. Auto. 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 Q. Okay, man. Move normal challenge. Q on to Ash. Saving my W. Auto, ulti. Smack, smack. Run. Q. Auto, auto, W. Up, up, up. Ulti. Oh, I'm in business, Bob. E, Q, W, W. Ulti. Fuck, I missed again. Okay, okay. 
I know how to play action, I promise. Okay, I win. We're in business. <laughs> Push this shit in. I did not even play that well. Mainly because... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> like, you can't know what every champion does, damn it. But what you can do is press every button. Who's with me? Let's take this dragon. That is a shit ton of juice for us. Ringard already respawned on the map. We don't have smite, but it's okay. Alrighty, in that order. Get the level 7, get the Kraken Slayer. Check. Win the play. Check. Take the objective. Check. Winning a play like that, where you just get one reset, it's the next one, it's the next one. Like, that was 3v4 bottling, basically. And we won. It's so big. Kraken Slayer, Ninja Tabby. And then, where am I going from here? Well, Longsword can't go wrong. We know that. So, to the top side. Kraken Slayer giving us AD attack speed, movement speed, that third third auto attack uh, on hit damage. Now, the reason we go this instead of Bork this time is they have so many range champions. That movement speed helps you stay on top of them. And then that extra third hit damage help, helps you execute them. We're going to be attacking enemies when they're low, not so much wailing on them. And then they survive. Bork better into beefier targets. Kraken better into squishier targets. That's an easy way to think about it. Now, my main goal is to clear every camp and then... React to the plays. We have that Kraken Slayer. We have the ramp. Two smite. What the fuck, Ringar? Why would he ulti? This guy just dies to this? WQ? Huh. I'll swing on over here. I'm going rogue. Nice, easy play right here. Blank. Easy. Do the first target. Auto Q. Move down. Following Senna here. EQ. W. Once again, clear all the camps, then we react. So I would think that Ringar would be doing Void Grubs. Now, if we walk all the way to Void Grubs, it costs us a lot of time. We just killed their bot lane. Their bot lane's going to respawn and walk bot. So what we can do is clear these blue side camps and then go dive them bot lane. So this makes it where I get gold and XP guaranteed and put myself in position for a big-ass win. A big-ass win that's very, very likely to go our way. Whoa! Action! Whoa! Noob down. Hi, Action. E? If I ulti in like that, then he can flash, and then I'm kind of dead, and then I kind of give away like a 700 gold shutdown, so that's not very good. Listen, Ash died. The bot lane is actually not here. I'll just take the wave. Quote of the day, keep farming. If you're alive in game, you should be hitting some CS. You should be getting some gold. Quote of the day, keep farming. Under 25 big ones, don't mind if I do. Let's get back to base. Let's just go Sundered Sky, the classic. Trinity's good, but not being able to die is a whole lot better. Tunneler, Caulfield's Warhammer, and to the top side. Can even defend top lane. Tunneler giving us 250 HP, which is a big ass spike. The Ninja Tabby plus that. We're going to be super tanky. Super tanky in a mid range way, not in like a Ramus way. Don't get it twisted. But what we can do with it is. Run way more into the enemy with our level lead and with that HP, making it super oppressive for them to deal with. Back at it, Bob. Clear everything. Attack someone. What are you, out of your mind? Now they pinged the Rift Herald, but is my teammates doing the Rift Herald? No. I'll be farming. Any noobs in here? Bing, 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 bing. Investigating these camps first, investigating their jungle, putting the vision down, and just like that, I've earned a blue buff. We have the level 11, so that's another point in our ulti, giving us even more missing HP damage on that. Fuck. Oh, 
fighting here. Rengar is definitely going to ulti. Hi, guys. And hook. Just stay near the play. Remember, farm, play, then the objective. Hiding for now. I've already taken so much damage. Nice. If they go on Gwen, we win. They still have that fiddlestick, Salty. Nice. Let's just push mid and take that turret. They're fighting Gwen like this. He's fine. Always doing something. Turn off those pings. Whoa, oh, you. Hey, yeah, yeah. Don't mind me. Oh. Whenever Action autos, he gets that double hit. Once he gets it, like it goes off. So we just die. <laughs> Oops. We got that Sundered Sky. That gives us a whole lot more survivability. Dude, everyone on the enemy team is in such random places, no? It's fine. It's all going to work out here. Sundered Sky, 450 HP, AD, Ability Haste, and then that passive. We Our first auto restores some HP plus missing HP, so you can take quite a bit of damage now and then survive it. From here, uh, Death Stance is a pretty good option for us. Sterex isn't as good as last game because we don't have a lot of HP. Wait, yeah, we do have some of the sky bomb. Dude, anti-heal seems so necessary like every game I play too. Senna, Fiddlesticks, Ringar. I don't want to be the one to buy it though. Suppose that should be my build. Sterax into Mortal Reminder. How weird. But guys, it all worked out in the end. We got that funny dragon. Time to farm some camps. So now as we're entering the mid game, the late game question mark, it feels like the late game, but it's really just the mid game. The mid game with these turrets down, it's going to be about when these fights happen, we want to get involved the best that we can. Wish me luck here. Oh, that's Mr. Akshan, critting my asshole off. <laughs> Let's just go Death's Dance. Give me some cloth armors, man. Once I have a little bit of armor, like it's over for them. Infinity Edge, a collector, he gets the jump on us, and he ignites us. You win this time, but like, yeah. Your Honor, how is everyone dead? I'm just wondering. Akshan's like Twitch jungle just easy, like he just walks around and kills everyone. What's up with that? Your Honor. Can a white boy farm his jungle camps? No? Alright. Listen, there's nothing to really switch up in a spot like this either. We just go back to our camps and farm. See if we can't clean up Mr. Ezreal. Shut down. Save our E for this rock right here. Nice. Should be able to get in range. Alright, bye bye guys. You never know who's in that Senna E. I've learned my lesson from last game. But our goal in the mid game is to group up and then fight. So we want all of our camps done quick and then group up and fight. Whoever is up the map first has a way better chance of winning like the enemy did that last turn. They simply are all just there and then fight to <laughs> like and then we, that's what we want to do. I know a complicated macro play, I know. Honey, I'm moving up the map. So we have Ash Air, we have Pike Hook. Got a lot of good stuff for us. And then the further up we go to, the more vision we can put down. To spot out noobs like the Fiddlesticks. Run. 
And with our blue smite, we'll be safe. It's okay. E? Auto Q. I mean, I thought we'd be safe. Guys, we have an Ash Arrow. We have all of our allies near us. Okay, one for one. One for two. Echo doesn't ulti. All right. Steel Sigil, two control wards. But your honor, your honor, you have to understand. My teammates are there, but in fact, they're too far away. In fact, the pike support is laning with the ash, your honor. No, the noob allegations are false. Please, please, your honor. I have to see my kids. Hook. Board that Baron again. Okay, 8k on that bad boy. We can win. Control ward. Win. In. W. Smack, smack, Q. Smack, smack. One noob down. E. Moving. Q, W. It's fine. It's fine. Ulti. Q. Let me move, damn it. Let me move, your honor. No. Axon's gonna revive everyone. <sighs> Sell that control ward. We won't be needing that shit. Objective fights are fucking impossible. Ay, ay, ay. Who gave him that, huh? So I get bullet by Ringar, and then I'm just... Or no, I get W'd by Sin, and then I'm just stuck. Baron's wailing on me. Ezreal's wailing on me. Everyone on my team is not on the targets I'm on. They have dove over here. So then I have to reach into the action, and it's fucked from there. I, I take too much damage. If we play it front to back, then it's all good. Listen. Team's fucking up the fights. It's fucking bad. I'm gonna farm some camps. We lose the objective and the enemy gets a lot of time here. And time is very bad for Viego because you don't scale as hard as a level 15 Axion with Infinity Edge Collector, Yuntao, Boots, and a Crit Cloak, okay? What do I got? Kraken Slayer, Sundered Sky. Sundered Sky that I completed at like 14 minutes. And what did I get since then? A fucking Steel Sigil. 30 armor. Help! Help, I need some fucking gold. Where did it go wrong, you may be asking? Holy shit. Group up and fight, boys. Where's the group up and fight? The key feature of Viego gameplay. All right, let's learn from the best here, you know. My allies are pretty good at standing still behind me, so let's, let's do what they do. I mean, we're alive this time, so that's pretty good. Auto? UW? Hey, look at that! Swing away. Ulti. And try to move challenge. Well, we got a kill. That's that's way more progress than last time. If I'm in front, we know how that goes. Dollfield's Warhammer. There goes my inhib. But there's kind of a respite, so... Where I say, uh, time's very bad for us. They have one, two, three, four, four carry champions on their team. And then whenever the enemy gets barren, they get a push. And they get more gold, they get access to more gold by pushing the minion waves, taking turrets, taking jungle camps. And then probably winning the objectives, too. And then that's gonna make them stronger over time. What do we get? Like, one or two waves, maybe a jungle camp, and then probably die? Like, you're just not gonna compete with how much they grow over time. W, Q, pop up, pop. Still have a fiddlesticks and a Ringar problem. Q 
even though it's dangerous in my jungle, don't want to concede those camps. Need, need gold and need XP. Tree set to the bot side. Get that death stance, and we're kind of talking now. With death stance, we have a chance. Death stance, long sword, control ward, to the bot side. Building into executioners, I guess. I don't know how we win without it. Senna healing and shielding is crazy, for whatever reason. Death Dance giving us AD, ability, haste, and armor. The armor is very nice, and then the main deal is the passive defy or ignore pain, in which you take damage that you receive over time rather than instantly, so that allows you to tank even more. And then also stay alive, so if we're staying alive, we have the chance to get a reset, simply by existing longer. Heal. E. Nice. Smite. Auto. W. Flash? Smack, smack. <laughs> that was a pretty good rundown. Now, Akshan's alive, so we have to help the Ash Siege if she ever wants to play the game. Phew. Yeah, doing nothing's just a super fucking awesome option. that fucking shield man it's like a matter of time like because action can get the the trail to you and then if you're just up the map like that it's like well i'm dead all right all right fuck it let's just go randuins at this point Randuins will help us against both Akshan and Rengar. Ward and Smell giving us armor and reduced damage from auto attacks. And then that Ruby Crystal is just simply more HP. Once you complete the Randuins, you take reduced damage from crits. Ulti! Q! dead defending the nexus is so crazy though we don't have turrets here or here and they have two champions that can go invisible well big wheel keeps on turning sweeper I always want to spot out if there's any wards left on the Nexus here that they would TP to. That would be even better if I can get a control ward to put where the turrets were so you could spot out Rengar and Akshan just running into the Nexus. No time to farm, just try to kill this guy. It's gonna be Fiddle's TP. You. Okay. They still have Ringard a back door, so doing the Baron is still a pretty hard task. Ulti goes wide. Ringard's probably over there. Guys, hey, hey. You. Smack, Q. Smack, smack, smack. Q. But your honor, the Ringar's right there. Yes, I'd like to order my Pike support. Uh, I'd like to order a Q and then an E on the Ringar. Yes, thank you. Oh, 
Well, GG, guys. It was a fun early game into a nothing bird mid game. We know how that is. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> I will be redeemed. I will redeem myself. You know, it's not about how many times you get knocked down. It's how many times you get up. The Joe Rogan, uh, you know, I love hearing a good story, but I like hearing the story of how a guy fucked it all up and then got it back together. I'm just going to do a normal Viego game. Hello. And Q. Save that Q, you know, delay the damage a little bit, surprise him, and then boom. He tries to save that flash. Too much, too much. Let's get to our blue buff and clear it down. We're against Zack this game. Like any tank jungler, you don't really care about what, are you, what is he doing. Are you guys in my red side? You don't really care about what they're doing. You just do you. Dude, if they're in my red side, it's whatever. I'm glad I'm not there. Be clearing down to the bot side and battling it out. Especially avoiding a poppy. That's a good idea. The enemy will basically tell me if they started my camps. Which is a possibility because of that level 1 play. With how they enter lane. Braum starts in lane. Jin enters from top side. Okay. Nobody on blue buff. Okay. One tip I can give you with Viego too is like whenever you're doing the clear, it's like your first instance to cast the abilities. And you can get very comfortable with auto and moving as you go. Because whenever you're fighting in lane, you don't want to just like spurg it out and kind of press everything and hope it works. It has to be played out pretty slow for the early attacks, which are the most important ones. Uh, but with that in mind, you know, do your worst, it will be fine. But you can get a lot more value if you do things correctly. Which is playing it slow, so it's like auto, Q, auto, auto, W, auto, auto. Instead of like, Q, auto, W, auto! Like, get as many hits as you can get. Do it slow. Since uh, they die bot lane there, I can skip my red buff. And just do the frogs, and that gives me options. Whenever you skip the red buff, then you can go to the top side a whole lot easier. You also delay getting that red buff so you can hold it for a whole lot longer. Allowing me to potentially fight a whole lot longer on the map since there's no immediate, like, immediate gank as I'm on the bot side there. Because my Seraphine dies. Q. Now I'm hearing you, Mr. Jace, but I am level 3 with 2 points in my Q. Good luck. Jungle gap. Now I will have Smite for Scuttle Crab. The Braum's not there, I'm kind of in business. Hit the Scryer. And Braum is there. Q smite. Bye bye. Q. Smack smack, W, smack smack. Run! We dealt a lot of damage and the backup's coming, so we might actually have a play here. We just need that reset. Nice, Q. Zach's gonna end up going down here. But the Akali's still alive, so play it slow. Schmack, W, schmack, schmack. Alrighty, so far so good. Nice, Braum dies too. Alrighty, it all works out in the end. It always does. We gotta mute those pings, dude. Everyone's annoying today, eh? It's always a hate jungle day, but these guys are on another dimension today. Got both scuttles, I think. Anyways, I got a scuttle and then to the top side here. Every day of the week, it's going to be Bork against these tanky targets, Braum, Zack, and Poppy. That'll be the front line. Those will be the guys I'm hitting, so give me that Blade of the Rune King. Clear it down, Bob. It only takes us one camp to get level five. Phew. Nice. Zack is still on the bot side. Hot dog. Hot dog, let's go take his red side camps, man. What is that guy thinking? I don't think he thinks at all. In fact, that was a stupid thought of me to think that a Zack player would ever think. Ridiculous. You. Close. 
I'm coming, I'm coming. Mr. Zack, basically full HP here. W. Schmack, schmack, Q. Schmack, schmack. Bye bye. I mean, I have the movement speed from this thing, so I should be fine. Since he has nothing to stun me against with his Q, it's whatever. Just go to my camps. If you want to attack me here without a Kali, best of luck to you. We'll just do an in and out like this. That red trinket thing was him using sweeper. And now we can just actually do the camp. Schmack. W. Schmein, just in case. And we're kind of in business once again. Rough the Zack up a little bit. An ally nowhere to be found, but it's okay. Both my soul lanes are pushed in, so we'll just path bot side play for that dragon. Play for the dragon, play for my own farm. I can get level 6 off frogs too. I got options. Putting a ward right here is pretty beast when you start that dragon. Get in there, man. He has no jump. Auto Q, smack, smack. Noob down. And the bot lane's dead. Hell yeah. Zack didn't do void grubs. Holy moly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Pakali's gonna kick my ass here eventually. Q, run. W, auto, Q, smack. Ugh. Okay, she royally screwed that one up, Bob. Q, W, E, E, auto, Q, auto, auto, Q, smite. Q. Run. Auto, Q. Smack, 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 W, smack, smack. Q. Well, if I don't get hit by that Jin W, I'm in business. I really don't do that much damage to him, huh? I was trying to set him up for my ulti. I could have just exited, but I really thought I'd kill him in time. Freaker bow vamp step there. It's okay. Clear it back towards top side. Play for those void grubs now. We got the dragon. Check. And the main deal is we keep showing up for the fights, seeing if we win them, playing them out. Does it work? Sometimes. Sometimes not. Since I was even levels with Braum, suppose he's tanky enough. We were on a massive overstay too. Now with the Vamp Scepter and Recur Bow, we have a lot more fighting power. Because that Zack had Bombies, Amptome, Dark Seal, Boots on that recall. So yeah, he deals enough damage to me. What did I have? Pickaxe. <laughs> Pickaxe and some change. But since Zack shows on that bot side, same with Brom, we can skip our blue side camps and just do those Void Grubs. Their position is bad. He's super bad, so take the objective first and then clear down. And do it quickly. Alternating the autos with the passive here. Really, no one's checking this. I'm gonna get so juiced off the levels. So the Bork is 725 gold here. Everything you have, you wanna complete that bad boy. Mordekaiser needs some help crashing the wave, so we'll show up here. We're gonna wait for our E, and then get involved. There's that Q. Hops are gonna get the fuck out of here, so. Smite, auto. Auto, Q, auto. Auto, W, smack, 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 Q, smack, smack. He's really trying to dodge that W the entire time. Check it out, we can block his jump here. Yeah, knocked up. Smack, Q, smack, smack, he's so dead right here. E, auto, auto. Missed the W, Q, smack, smack, ulti. One, two, three, four, Q. Noob down. C, 
See you later, boys. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Get more distance than fucking. Let's just reset, actually. We got bored. All the camps are up. Let's just reset and we'll clear so much faster. Job's done. Now we're talking. Check this shit out, Bob. Boom. Bork into Merc Treads. These Merc Treads are going to be out of this fucking dimension because they give us both magic resist and tenacity. Poppy, Zack, Akali, Braum all deal magic damage and all have CC for us. So once we get a Sterax as well, we're really talking. So let's go Bork, Black Cleaver, Sterax. That's the build. Easy enough into tanks. Phew. Alrighty. It is time to full clear. We're level 7 on the cusp of a full clear getting us close to level 9. And then that dragon will be spawned by the time we're on the bot side. Dude, I swear the attack speed's bugged. It feels so bad. But the board completed, you already know, gives us that damage that we need. But it also increases our clear speed because of that on hit damage. Giving us more current HP damage. But as you're clearing at this stage, cue the camp and walk away like this. Cue. It will die. Don't stand there hitting it like we do in the early game. Three or four Qs and the camp is dead. That's all you need to know. Check it out. Walk away. Q. Camp is dead. We have 30 seconds to play with before the dragon spawns, which is crazy. Save that Q for the small ones here. Pull them together. Q. Alrighty. Bot lane. Bot lane. I love ya. I love ya. Just move into the bush here. Q smite. Q. Smack, smack, smack. Q, smack, smack, W, smack. <laughs> she got him. Don't pick up that Braum, we take too much damage. Heal a little bit. Did you guys win that mid play? Jace is dead. I didn't. Akali's dead though, so surely it's fine. Am I looking to dive the gen? No. No, it's dragon time. Zach, I love you. Auto Q, smack, smack, smack. Rough them up a little bit. Zach, we have a question. Do you want to walk into this bush? Auto W? Auto Auto Q? Alrighty, time to stun this guy. So we're going to W? Q? For fuck's sake. Run! When you miss Bob, run. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. Did you miss the skill shot? Get out of there. Don't walk into the enemy. Hey, will you let me have it? No. No, they won't. Ever. Grow up. But then again, you know, whenever I was pretty young, I went to this card shop, and at the card shop... Hold on. Auto Q. Schmack, schmack, they slowed. Stun, schmack, schmack. Q, schmack, schmack, schmack. Ulti. Q. Run him down, boys. Give me the speed. Schmite. Q. Schmack, schmack. E. Moving. Auto W. Ulti. E W. Run. Q smack. I'm just dead. Give me the merc treads. Yeah, I killed them both, but was it worth it? Hell yeah. Zach got the shutdown. We kind of don't care. Into the black cleaver. Phage. Two long swords. With the merc treads, we're kind of tanky off that. You know, it's no tunnel or ruby crystal like Sundered Sky, but that's fine. Anyways, I went to this card shop when I was younger. Probably 11 to like 13 ish. And then everyone there was so much older, so I might as well have been an eight-year-old amongst them. And next to that card shop was an auto parts store, but they sold these, like, Slim Jims that were, like, deer meat, so they were very good. Hold on, Braum wants to die, you know how this goes. Auto, just give it a sec, we'll, we'll win. Done. How about Q? Pick up Braum. W, E, Q. Ulti. Auto EQ? I think I'm dead here. Damn, I missed the Braum Q. Try to kill Poppy Chow with that Sundered Sky. So they had the Slim Jims that were like deer meat, and every now and then, I wouldn't have uh, the exact change for him. And then the guy would just be like, you can have them. Which I feel like is fair. For kids, just give them the snack. Who cares? All right, we did some dying. It's time to do some farming. It's time to get level 11 and keep winning. Every single jungle camp for me, please. Puppy is successful with her walk around the map and kill everyone maneuver. 
but doesn't matter. Does she get enough juice off it? We'll have to see. Poppy's on the bot side of the map. Let's not be there. Bad things happen around Poppy. I'm looking for level 11. I'm looking for that black cleaver. And then I'm looking for fights with numbers advantage, not just fighting to fight. And then after we win those fights, we'll think about objectives. You know, the other thing to think about too is always going to be your position, where you're at, where the enemy's at. That's always going to determine whether you win that fight or not. You're not so much trying to do something specific, but trying to get somewhere general. So here I'm getting to the top side, because the Rift Herald's here. Zack just used his jump trying to spot out this Rift Herald, so... We have about 10 seconds to finish it before he jumps again. Schmite! Job's done. It is 1200 for that Black Cleaver, so we're gonna need a little bit more than this. This is not a numbers advantage fight because the Jin will be moving towards it. Even if I attack the Jin, it's no good, so do nothing. Let Zoe support die, let them have my blue buff. You guys are caught in the river. Jin, we have a question. Is there a ward here? Oh, there is. He doesn't have W though, so it's fine. Oh, well, I have the uh, Black Cleaver, but they're probably gonna dive the Seraphine. I'm gonna pretend like I'm not here and see what they do. Zack is out of his mind, eh? Auto Q. Super good damage on Zack. Q, schmack, schmack, schmack. Ulti. Your honor, I'm dead. All he did was bounce around. I missed like one Q and I'm just turbo dead. He dealt 2,000 damage to me. Suppose giving him the shutdown actually matters. Leandri's haunting guy is bombing Cinder. We got his ulti out of the way before the... Um before the dragon fight though, so that's good. And now that we have Black Cleaver, I would imagine we're still winning, especially if any teammate is near me. Do we win this game? You got me, it's all Jesus. You know how it goes today. Classic good early game into what the fuck, why is everyone dead? So now, I wanna take fights only with my fucking team, apparently. No 1v1s for me, on to these guys. And then that dragon's on the board. You know, with Poppy resetting and then Zack in this position, let's just start that dragon. No time to waste. Up to them to come contest us. Start that up. Put the control word there. Good luck mid lane, guys. 8k on the dragon, and they are already coming. Run! Do nothing, do nothing. Random die, lose. That's my teammates. So once we start team fighting grouped up, my team's one weakness of, like, singular play kind of goes away, which is nice. You guys are too far forward. We can actually kill them. Auto Q. My W. Q auto. B. E? Auto. Q. Schmack. Run. Nice, snoop down. Auto, Q. Smack, smack, hiding. W, smack, smack, Q, smack, smack. Smack, ulti. Yes, Poppy can die, boys. Eventually. Oh, if I would have got near him here. Ulti, E. Auto, Q, auto, auto. What a champion, man, what a champion. Let's just go Wit's End. Since this magic damage is like so prevalent from this guy, Wit's End will give me massive DPS. No magic dagger. And he still had ulti, which is like, all right, suppose you win. So that becomes a bad chase, but I did not expect that guy to have ulti. <laughs> Look at that fucking damage, Bob. You might be thinking, why is he so strong? He has 12 kills. Who gave him 12 kills? I gave him like one.
Do some fucking jungle camps, man. Like every other fight this game, it starts off so good, then, oh, you're turbo fed. Who knew? Who knew Zach was turbo fed like that? Not me. So now the Baron is up. The enemy has a stronger team fight, but we have an okay skirmish. So whenever the enemy splits up, it'll be our time to just strike. We have the support of the Seraphine and of the Zoe, but we're probably going to have to be the one that starts the fight. So step one, we want to have vision. Scroll word right there. Step two, punish the enemy. Auto Q. Auto Auto W. Schmack, 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 schmack Q. Another noob down. Is this a Baron moment? I don't think so. Zack's bot side, hot dog. Now we can start this Baron. Do we really have the DPS? I'm not seeing it. Let's just turn on the Poppy. It's gonna take us a while, but I think that's our better chance. Because eventually that Zack's gonna show up. So we got the Akali TP. Now we wanna back off and group up here. If we group up then, a lot easier to play out the fight. Lord knows we need things to be easy here. Negatron, Cloak, Recurve, Bow to the mid lane. Where did that Rift Herald go? It like auto dropped and uh, is gone. Uh, my Seraphine has no support. But she's gonna get pushed in. Let's go farm. Do I want to attack Poppy bot lane? No. But my Seraphine's already dead mid lane, so... Better to do this than nothing. Can I team fight here? No. Or you'll lose Baron, I guess. Are we gonna win the Baron? Get back here, bitch! You! Alrighty, they're gonna start up that Baron, but how am I gonna contest? I don't know. 15 kills on Mr. Zack. I mean, it takes one throw from them at this point. Listen, they got the game, it's in the bag. It's kind of the price we pay when there's so many deaths, so many deaths on the team. How do you compensate this? You don't. You don't on Diego. You can't your team can't lose this hard. Let's get as much gold as we can for ourselves, which is gonna be this push, and that's that. Eleven seconds on Poppy, six on Akali. Get as much damage on this turret as I can. Zack is here, they're not doing Baron. Holy shit. Might be in business. Might Q. I already know you have ulti, right? Q, schmack, schmack. Level 16. <laughs> like, Bob, the enemy jungler just gets it every fucking game, eh? Who gave this guy a fucking free ride scholarship? I had to earn mine. I had to get good grades. He gets it because he was born here? What the fuck are you talking about? 17 kills, 25 Medrash Dax, Riftmaker, Leandri, Sunfire, Boots Lucidity, brand new Porsche, a fully paid for apartment, a fucking... What? Give him a spaceship as well. Send this guy to Mars. The first guy to Mars. You you earned it, man. What the fuck? I'm coming from, you know, honest, an honest hometown where we got a Riftmaker Leandres on the Mord, you know, a Maul of Malmordius and some bullshit on Jays. Give me, give me all these fucking jungle camps. Looking to complete that wit's end, you know. Other people that have more means and richer parents might already have wit's end completed. But I gotta work for mine. W. Let's get the fuck out of here, Bob. No support, no team, no wards, no thanks. See ya, man. W. Back back to you. Better move challenge. 
Oh, that's... that's... yep. I think just lose, honestly. I don't know. I thought they had spent their CC on my team. Uh, Zach not only ulted, but also used his E once again. FF. If we lose this fight, we lose Baron, and then we'll lose the next fight. It's like nothing special. Got the fucking Wits End. I'll get to Sterex sometime this year. Now, Wits End is a pretty good spike. Magic resist on hit damage and that tenacity. But when they got this much, nothing matters. GG. Thank God I'm out of that game. Holy moly. Holy schmoly. L put us at Masters, 106 LP, final damage dealt, 22, damage taken, 37, Conqueror healing is 606. Like that one band I used to listen to, I'll tell you what. It's a struggle out here, but you know, we do our best. I can't believe, I can't believe the luck in the last two games, but listen, it happens to everyone. Crap, Ola, Bob. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.